quite wet. I put a comb through it everywhere, including his legs and his longer hair. And now I'm taking my horse dryer and I'm going to water the water. my stand dryer and you can do all this with a, a hair dryer your own hair dryer chances are you have a short coat like this and you won't have all the problems I had with the longer coat cutting it down and all of that this was a good opportunity for me to show you all those issues and what happens if you don't take out take care of the coat um, what you're putting your groomer through or yourself. So I'm going to keep going here. Um, when you're brushing, well first of all, this is my favorite brush. I've used this brush for many years. I've had to replace them a few times. It's a Chris Christensen and I don't know why but the dogs don't mind it. They mind every other brush I use. So this is my favorite brush. It takes the mats out, it makes it shiny, it takes dead hair out. It's my favorite. So I have this old dryer here that I'm gonna hook up. Still the best and my favorite speedy dryer. And I'm gonna start drying it with this. And again, I like everything I like everything to be as as perfect as possible. So in order, if you want to scissor the dog after it's dry, 
you needs to be totally dry. It can't be damp, can't be damp at the roots. The, everything needs to be totally dry. So when you're drying them with the brush, you just do one section at a time until you can feel that it's dry and move on to another section. It takes a long time with a longer coat. It won't take that long with this. Okay? Thank <laughs> you.